host, Energetic. Hello, Daily Decipherers. I'm your guide to the festive season, brimming with holiday cheer and eager to embark on a magical journey with you. Today, we're set to dive deep into the heart of this jolly season, the season of warmth, love, joy, to unveil some hidden treasures that you may not have known about. We're going to illuminate your holiday with 10 dazzling facts about Christmas. Isn't it fascinating how one holiday can bring the world together in a shared spirit of love and giving? Our mission today is to explore that, to dive into this global phenomenon that has been celebrated for centuries. Christmas, a time when the world sparkles with fairy lights, when the air is filled with the sweet scent of gingerbread and the sound of jingle bells, a time when hearts are full and smiles are plenty, and dear daily decipherers are invited to join this journey as we venture into the known and unknown, prepare to have your mind blown with some of the most interesting facts about Christmas that we've carefully curated just for you. But before we start, we have a small request. Kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring that notification bell. This small action of yours supports us in bringing more interesting content to your screens. We appreciate your support and promise to keep the holiday spirit alive and well season long. So grab your hot cocoa, snuggle up in your favorite blanket, and let's embark on this festive adventure. Now, on to the festive facts. Host. First on our list, Christmas is a delightful blend of ancient winter solstice celebrations and the narrative of Jesus' birth. This unique holiday is a fascinating mixture of centuries-old traditions and deeply rooted religious beliefs. Not only has it evolved over time, but it has also merged a wide array of customs from diverse cultures and societies. The celebration of Christmas signifies the harmonious amalgamation of various customs and traditions. Reflecting the spirit of the winter solstice, it is a time of rebirth and renewal. Festivities from the ancient winter solstice, full of joy and warmth, are carried forward into today's Christmas celebrations. The vibrant lights and cheerful decorations that we associate with modern Christmas can be traced back to the solstice celebrations, when people would decorate their homes with greenery and light fires to keep away the winter chill. Simultaneously, the narrative of Jesus' birth adds a deeply spiritual aspect to this holiday. Jesus' birth and the biblical accounts associated with it provide a religious framework to the festival, making it a significant event in Christian theology. The nativity scenes, carols, and church services during this time serve to commemorate his birth, making it a sacred event marked by contemplation and worship. These two aspects of Christmas, one rooted in ancient traditions and the other in religious significance, are beautifully intertwined. This amalgamation creates a holiday that is both bright and solemn, festive and reflective, thereby appealing to a broad spectrum of individuals across the globe. This historical mashup brings us the vibrant holiday we all know and love. Host, ever wonder where the Christmas tree tradition stemmed from? I guess we all have pondered upon this question once or twice. So, let's dive deep into the fascinating history of this beloved holiday symbol. The origin of the Christmas tree goes back to Germany, the land of poets and thinkers, during the time of Renaissance in the 16th century. Imagine yourself in the heart of winter, where the landscape is predominantly white and the chill is relentless. In those cold, harsh winters, when nature was mostly barren, a green tree represented life, a symbol of hope that stood defiant against the harsh environment. It signified the promise of life's resilience, the triumph of spring over winter, of life over desolation. The tradition of decorating a tree for Christmas usually involved an evergreen fir tree, an enduring symbol of permanence and continuity. The fir tree, with its unchanging colors, presented a stark contrast with the snowy landscapes, representing life in the depths of winter. As the tradition evolved, people began to adorn these trees with small, handcrafted ornaments, candles, and even edible treats. Each decoration had a unique significance that contributed to the overall symbolism of the Christmas tree. In the following centuries, the tradition spread across borders and seas, reaching different corners of the world. Each new place it reached added their unique touch to the tradition, making it a truly global phenomenon. Today, every ornament that hangs, every light that twinkles, and every star that crowns the tree carries with it a piece of this rich heritage. 
Today, it stands as a universal symbol of holiday joy. From its humble beginnings in Germany, through all the additions and adaptations, the Christmas tree has become a beacon of love, unity, and celebration. Host. Santa isn't just a North Pole resident, he's a world traveler with a variety of aliases. Each year as the calendar flips to the frosty months of winter, Santa begins his global journey. He may be known as Santa Claus in some parts of the world, but many cultures have their own unique interpretations of this jolly figure. Let's take a journey around the world to understand the different guises of Santa. From the snow-covered mountains of the North Pole, we head first to Italy. Here, the streets are alive with the spirit of Christmas. But the protagonist of their Yuletide story is not a rotund man in a red suit. Instead, the Italians wait for the arrival of La Befana, a benevolent witch who fills their stockings with gifts. La Befana, like Santa, is a symbol of love, generosity, and the spirit of giving. She too travels the world, spreading joy and happiness. But instead of a sleigh, she uses a broomstick for her global journey, a slightly different mode of transport but one that embodies the charm and magic of the season nonetheless. Italian children don't leave out cookies and milk for Santa. They leave pieces of their dinner for La Bafana, who is said to arrive during the night of the Epiphany and fill their shoes with gifts. Picture Santa with his red and white suit, trading it for a witch's cloak and hat, his sleigh for a broomstick. Imagine him flying over the Italian rooftops, leaving gifts and joy in his wake. Through this Italian tradition, we see that the spirit of Santa Claus transcends borders and cultures. It's not about the alias or the mode of transport. It's about the essence of love, generosity, and the joy of giving that lives within all of us. Picture Santa trading his sleigh for a broomstick. Host, Silent Night, holds the crown for the oldest Christmas carol. First performed in Austria in 1818, this tranquil tune has been serenading the holiday season for over two centuries. Host. Mistletoe, it turns out, is more than a doorway decoration. In times gone by, it was a symbol of love and fertility. So be prepared for that unexpected holiday kiss. Host. The Advent Calendar, a beloved holiday countdown, first emerged in 19th century Germany. Today, they offer a delightful daily surprise leading up to Christmas Day. Host. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, didn't join Santa's squad until 1939. Since then, his glowing nose has been lighting the way for Santa's sleigh and warming hearts worldwide. Host, the tradition of sending Christmas cards began back in 1843. Fast forward to the present day and billions of cards zip around the world, carrying messages of joy and goodwill. Host, poinsettias, those striking red plants, became linked with Christmas in the 19th century. They've been brightening up holiday decorations with their festive charm ever since. Host. Christmas is a global affair, celebrated with a diverse array of traditions. From the Philippines' colorful parades to Sweden's Yule Goat, cultures worldwide bring their unique flair to the holiday festivities. Host. And that wraps up our list, Daily Decipherers. 10 Festive Facts to Brighten Your Holiday Season. Which one sparked your curiosity the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Until our next festive foray, keep the holiday cheer alive and continue deciphering the wonders of the everyday. Host, have you ever wondered why Christmas colors are red and green? Host, this hearty question which strikes our minds every holiday season has an enthralling backstory hidden behind the mask of history. As you gaze upon your decorated home, the striking hues of red and green fill the room, evoking a sense of warmth, joy, and an undeniable connection to the holiday spirit. But have you ever paused to ponder why specifically these two colors? What's the secret behind this particular dichotomy? Host takes us on a journey that's centuries old, back to the Middle Ages. The use of these colors during Christmas is rooted deeply in historical customs and traditions. Red as we know it today was not merely a random choice, but a deliberate symbol. It's a symbolic representation of the apples on the paradise tree showcased in traditional medieval plays. These plays were a popular form of entertainment during the Christmas, making poignant references through their storylines and characters. Host, 
The paradise tree, an integral part of these plays was decorated with apples, signifying the biblical tale of Adam and Eve. The red apples thus became an emblem of the fall of man and subsequently, the redemption brought about by the birth of Christ. Host, green on the other hand, carries its own tale. It's not simply chosen for its aesthetic appeal. No, it represents something far more profound and deeply ingrained in Christian theology. Green symbolizes the everlasting life of Jesus, reflecting the undying nature of his spirit and the eternal hope that he instills in the hearts of believers. Host, so the next time you look at your Christmas decorations, remember the stories they bear, remember the history, remember the symbolism. Host, this festive palette actually has historical roots. The red symbolizes the apples on the paradise tree from medieval plays. Green, on the other hand, represents the everlasting life of Jesus. Host, now let's fly to Japan where KFC is the star of Christmas dinner. A country known for its unique customs, Japan serves as the perfect backdrop for our riveting tale. This isn't a story of centuries-old practices, but a relatively new tradition that has taken hold. A practice that began not because of any historic event or cultural significance, but one that arose from a simple marketing campaign. Can you imagine a fast food company being able to change the Christmas traditions of an entire nation? That's exactly what happened in the land of the rising sun during the disco decade, the 70s. It all started with a clever marketing campaign by none other than the globally recognized fried chicken franchise, Kentucky Fried Chicken, or as we all fondly know it, KFC. The campaign was called Kurusumasu Niwa Kentucky, or Kentucky for Christmas. It was an unassuming pitch, but one that tapped into a void in the Japanese Christmas tradition. At a time when Christmas was not a major holiday in Japan, and there were no established customs around it, KFC offered something unique, something different. A bucket of fried chicken became something more than just a meal. It became a symbol of celebration and festivity. The citizens of Japan embraced this new tradition with open arms. The idea of Christmas chicken was so well received that it quickly became a widespread phenomenon. Nowadays, Japanese people even make advance bookings to ensure they get their festive bucket of fried chicken. It is a sight to behold seeing the long lines of people waiting patiently outside KFC outlets, braving the winter chill, all for a taste of this Christmas tradition. And so, what started as a marketing campaign has now become an integral part of the Japanese Christmas experience. It's interesting to note how a bucket of fried chicken, a seemingly ordinary fast food, has now been elevated to the status of a traditional Christmas dinner in Japan. It's a testament to the power of good marketing, and the adaptability of cultures. Now, a bucket of fried chicken is a must-have on December 25th. Host, for those who love to light up their homes, a New York family holds the record for the most lights on a residential property. Let me draw you a picture. Picture a typical suburban house in the heart of New York. The family, known for their love of Christmas and passion for brightening their neighborhood, had a dream. This dream was to cover every inch of their home with twinkling, shimmering lights. These are not your average twinkling holiday lights, no. They are an assortment of colors, shapes and sizes. Some are large, some small, others twinkle, while some emit a steady glow. Each meticulously placed to create an awe-inspiring display of holiday cheer. It's not just the house that's adorned. The entire property is a spectacle to behold. Trees are wrapped in spirals of light, the driveway is lined with glowing lanterns, and even the garden shed is not spared from this radiant spectacle. The display extends to the very edges of the property, creating a dazzling border of light. This isn't a task achieved overnight. It requires months of planning, purchasing, and painstaking assembly. Every light is checked, every strand carefully arranged, each decoration meticulously placed. The power needed to run such an incredible display is enormous, worth every spark of electricity for the joy it brings. The result? A breathtaking display of 600 1,736 lights, a sight like no other. They decorated their home with an impressive 600 1,736 lights, a host. Speaking of records, there's something incredible that is worth mentioning. In a time where the holiday spirit exuded a unique charm, there was a Christmas tree that invoked awe and wonder in everyone who saw it. The tallest Christmas tree ever displayed, it was a spectacle that defied ordinary definition. 
Assembled meticulously and decorated painstakingly, this was no ordinary Christmas tree. It was a tree that stood tall, not just in physical stature but also in its ability to bring people together. Its towering height of 221 feet, a magnificent figure, dwarfed everything else around it. The sheer size of this tree was something to marvel at and it was a clear testament to the passion and zeal involved in its creation. This giant fir tree, a symbol of the holiday spirit, was magnificently displayed at a shopping mall. This was no ordinary shopping mall, it was one located in Washington, the heart of America. Shoppers, tourists and locals alike marveled at the site, making it an iconic part of the city's holiday landscape. The twinkling lights that adorned the tree brought the holiday scenes to life and its towering presence brought a sense of joy and wonderment. It served as a beacon, radiating a festive glow that could be seen for miles. A symbol of hope, joy and unity, the tree embraced everyone with its warmth and charm. Enabling an atmosphere of camaraderie and shared joy, this giant fir tree towered over a Washington shopping mall, spreading holiday cheer far and wide. Host, you might think that Christmas Island got its name from the holiday. In fact, it was named by Captain William Miners, who arrived on the island on Christmas Day in 1643. Host, Eggnog, a holiday favorite, has been around for centuries. It originated in medieval Britain, where it was a drink for the aristocracy, made with milk, eggs and sherry. Host, the first artificial Christmas tree dates back to 19th century Germany. It was crafted using dyed goose feathers to replicate the look of a real tree. Host candles have been integral to Christmas decorations since the Middle Ages. They symbolize Christ as the light of the world, adding warmth to the festive season. Host, the tradition of lighting the National Christmas Tree in Washington, D.C. started back in 1923. It's a festive event that brings the community together to celebrate the holiday season. Host, the gifts in the song The Twelve Days of Christmas aren't just random. For instance, the partridge in a pear tree represents Jesus, while the five golden rings symbolize the Torah's first five books. Host, so there you have it. From the origins of Christmas colors and KFC dinners in Japan to record-breaking light displays and the symbolism of Christmas carols. Each tradition and fact adds a unique layer to the rich tapestry of Christmas celebrations around the world. Ever wondered where the tradition of hanging stockings by the fireplace came from? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? It is one of those quaint customs that most of us follow without ever questioning its origin. Yet the story behind it is as heartwarming as the tradition itself, a story embedded in history and folklore. The practice begins with a delightful tale that centers around the historic figure of St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas, a figure renowned in history for his generosity, kindness, and love for children, is a key character in our narrative. Known for his benevolent nature, St. Nicholas had a heart full of compassion for the less fortunate. His acts of are the foundation of several customs and traditions associated with modern-day Christmas celebrations. Our story takes us back to a time when St. Nicholas walked the earth, spreading love and joy. The tale goes that one day, St. Nicholas, upon hearing about a poor family in dire straits, decided to help them. He wanted to assist them in such a way that would preserve their dignity and would not embarrass them. And so, under the cover of darkness, he journeyed to their humble dwelling. There, hanging by the fireside, he noticed stockings hung out to dry. Seeing this as an opportunity to offer assistance without startling the family, he decided on his plan. It is said that he tossed three bags of gold one by one down the chimney of the house. And here comes the magical part of the tale. The gold, instead of scattering all over the place, conveniently landed into those hanging stockings. Imagine the family's surprise and joy the next morning when they found their stockings filled with enough gold to end their hardships. This charming tale is what traces back to the origin of the tradition of hanging stockings by the fireplace. It's a story that embodies the spirit of giving, of love and of hope. It just goes to show that sometimes the most heartwarming traditions have the most beautiful origins. So the next time you hang your stockings by the fire, Remember the tale of St. Nicholas and the gold that conveniently landed in a stocking hung to dry by the fire. Fast forward to 1933, 
and we find ourselves in the bustling heart of New York City at the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree lighting. A monumental event, our setting is the concrete jungle where dreams are made. A city that never sleeps yet finds a unique stillness in this momentous occasion. It's a cold December evening, where the frosty air is punctuated by the warmth of anticipation and excitement. Around us, the towering skyscrapers seem to bow to the majestic Norway spruce, standing tall and magnificent in the heart of the plaza. It's not just any tree, but a symbol of hope, unity, and tradition, casting a magical glow over the entirety of Rockefeller Center. The tree, sourced from various locations over the years, adds an element of suspense each year as people eagerly await its unveiling. The crowd is a melting pot of people from all walks of life, tourists and locals alike. Families huddle together, children's faces alight with joy and wonder, their laughter weaving its way through the crisp night. Couples hold hands, their breath misty in the chilly air, their eyes reflecting the thousands of twinkling lights adorning the tree. Vendors offer cups of steamy hot chocolate and pretzels, filling the air with a comforting aroma that forms the quintessential scent of a New York winter. This monumental event, now adorned with thousands of lights, has been a crowd puller since its inception. It is more than just a spectacle. It is a testament to the enduring spirit of the season and a tradition that has remained steadfast against the passage of time. But if it's size you're interested in, then the largest gingerbread house ever made surely takes the cake. A massive structure of sugar and spice, it was a confectioner's dream come true. Every single detail of its construction was a feast for the eyes, a delightful blend of architectural craftsmanship and culinary artistry that left spectators in awe. This colossal gingerbread house was constructed in the heart of Texas, a state known for its grandeur and bigness in all things. The site was a flurry of activity, with a team of dedicated bakers and designers working tirelessly to bring this sweet vision to life. Day and night, they worked, mixing, molding, baking and assembling, transforming simple ingredients into an edible masterpiece. The result was a structure that covered an impressive area of 2,520 square feet, making it the largest of its kind ever created. Imagine, a gingerbread house that rivals the size of an actual house. It was not just a house, it was a gingerbread mansion. A structure so grand, it was more like a castle, a palace of sweets and treats. The aroma of ginger, cinnamon and sugar filled the air, a sweet scent that enticed and enthralled. Every brick was a baked delight, every window frosting framed, every door candy capped. It was an architectural marvel and a culinary wonder, a testament to the creative potential of the humble gingerbread cookie. Quite the sweet spectacle indeed. Meanwhile, on January 7th, Ethiopia is alive with the celebrations of Christmas. This isn't your typical Western Christmas celebration that takes place on December 25th. Instead, Ethiopia follows the Julian calendar, which places Christmas a couple of weeks into the new year. The atmosphere is electrifying, with the entire country turning into a giant festive canvas. The streets are buzzing with anticipation, as everyone prepares for the grand revelry. The air is filled with the sounds of ululating women and the energetic beats of the kabero, a traditional Ethiopian drum. Music is everywhere, with traditional songs being played out loud in every corner, creating a beautiful symphony that resonates with the joy of the season. Brightly colored processions snake their way through the towns and cities, with people dressed in traditional clothing, their faces illuminated by the sheer joy of the season. These processions are a sight to behold, with their vibrant arrays of colors and the palpable excitement that they bring. Food is an essential part of the celebrations, with families and friends coming together to enjoy a lavish feast. Traditional Ethiopian dishes such as Dora Wat, a spicy chicken stew, and injera, a type of sourdough flatbread, are the stars of these feasts. The aroma of these delicacies wafts through the air, adding another layer to the sensory experiences of the Christmas celebration. Following the Julian calendar, the festivities include colorful processions, traditional music, and scrumptious feasts. Speaking of ancient traditions, the Yule Log symbolizes the triumph of light over darkness. A truly remarkable testament to the resilience of ancient practices and the enduring nature of human faith, this tradition has deep roots in cultures across the world. The Yule Log, or Yule Clog as it is sometimes known, is a particularly fascinating concept. 
Traditionally, the log, often a large, carefully selected piece of wood from a fruit-bearing tree, is ceremoniously brought into the home. Families gather around it, their faces illuminated by the soft, warm glow of the fire. This is a time of unity, of shared stories, and of laughter. But amidst all these heartwarming interactions, the log serves a greater purpose. The burning Yule log, with its fierce flames leaping upwards, stands as a beacon of hope. Its incandescent light cuts through the gloom of the cold winter nights, symbolizing the triumph of optimism and warmth over despair and coldness. It represents the renewal of the sun, a testament to the cyclical nature of life. A fascinating detail about the Yule log tradition is the variation in its practice. Some cultures burn the log continuously for 12 days, a nod to the 12 days of Christmas. Every day, the fire is carefully tended to, ensuring it doesn't die out. In contrast, other cultures have a distinctive practice of preserving a piece of the Yule log. This piece is zealously guarded until the following year, when it is used to kindle the next year's fire, thereby establishing a beautiful link between the years. This tradition of the Yule log, with its rich symbolism and cultural nuances, speaks volumes about the human spirit's resilience and the universal desire for hope and renewal. It's a striking example of how traditions, regardless of their origins, have the power to unify and inspire. Some cultures burn the log for 12 days, while others preserve a piece to kindle the next year's fire. In 1843, Sir Henry Cole in England kick-started the holiday card trend by creating the first commercial Christmas card. It featured a festive scene that set the tone for what was to become a beloved tradition. Did you know that candy canes were originally just straight white sticks of sugar candy? The iconic red and white stripes and peppermint flavor we love today only became popular in the early 20th century. The poinsettia, with its vibrant red leaves, has become synonymous with Christmas. Named after the first US ambassador to Mexico, Joel Poinsett, it was introduced to the US in the 1820s. Fast forward a little to 1898, and you'll find Canada issuing the world's first Christmas postage stamp. It featured a map of the world and the words Xmas 1898. And lastly, down under in Australia, Christmas takes on a unique twist with traditions like beach barbecues and surfing Santas, thanks to the festive season falling in their summer. So there you have it. From stockings and candy canes to Yule logs and poinsettias, the traditions we cherish each Christmas have a rich and fascinating history. Regardless of the time or place, it's clear that the spirit of Christmas is celebrated in countless ways around the world. Ever pondered how infantrymen engaged in the chaos of World War I found fleeting moments of tranquility and fraternity? It's a fascinating historical event that has intrigued historians and laymen alike over the years. In the turbulent year of 1914, a striking episode of human spirit unfolded amidst the ravages of war an event that would later come to be known as the Christmas Truce. As the chilling winter approached, the stench of war was everywhere, and the soldiers, huddled in their grimy trenches, were longing for the front line of battle was a place of constant tension, with the ever-present possibility of an attack. It was a time when human life seemed to get lost amidst the deafening roars of the cannons and the chaotic symphony of gunfire. Yet amidst all the chaos and destruction, a glimmer of hope flickered, illuminating the darkness of war with the light of peace and collective humanity. The event that unfolded was indeed extraordinary. Soldiers who until now were bent on eliminating each other called a halt to their hostilities, allowing the spirit of Christmas to momentarily diffuse the tension. They came out of their trenches, their faces etched with weariness yet lit by a spark of newfound camaraderie. They exchanged modest gifts, perhaps a bar of chocolate, a piece of clothing, or simple messages of goodwill, tokens that held immeasurable value in those times of strife. Most memorably, they even engaged in a friendly game of football, battlefield momentarily transformed into a sports field, the no man's land echoing with laughter and cheer. It was a powerful reminder of humanity's potential to shine through, even during the harshest and darkest of times. This event stands as testament to the fact that no matter how bleak the situation, there is always a ray of hope that can penetrate the darkest clouds of despair. Transitioning from the harsh realities of war, let's shift our focus to a more cheerful topic. Let's talk about one of nature's most incredible and whimsical wonders, the snowflake. This is a story that you may find hard to believe, but it's true and quite fascinating. 
Consider for a moment the largest snowflake that was ever recorded in the annals of human history. This one-of-a-kind winter marvel descended from the heavens in the state of Montana back in the year 1887. This isn't just any ordinary snowflake that you might catch on your tongue on a frosty winter's day. No, this snowflake was unique, a true spectacle that left those who witnessed it in absolute awe. Just imagine a snowflake measuring a staggeringly immense 15 inches in width. Picture in your mind a soft, delicate crystal of ice intricately designed by nature falling gently from the sky, its size equivalent to that of a large pizza. One might wonder how such a wonder was formed in the first place. The science behind it is as fascinating as the snowflake itself. You see, a snowflake is formed when an ice crystal in a cloud absorbs moisture, causing it to grow. Each snowflake is affected by atmospheric conditions, hence no two snowflakes are alike. This massive snowflake has become a part of history, a tale told to children and adults alike to marvel at the wonders of nature. It has been the subject of countless studies, has adorned the pages of numerous books, and has even inspired works of art. People have traveled to Montana specifically to learn about this snowflake, hoping to catch a glimpse of similar wonders. Despite the passage of time, the memory of this magnificent snowflake continues to captivate the hearts and minds of people across the globe. Such is the power and beauty of nature. All these thoughts lead us to one profound realization. This realization being that each snowflake that falls from the sky is a unique work of art, a testament to the incredible diversity and beauty that our world has to offer. Now let's turn our attention to Tchaikovsky's iconic ballet, The Nutcracker. A magical masterpiece of symphonic composition, The Nutcracker is indeed a timeless work of art. Its musical score is filled with enchanting melodies and its theatrical staging is a grand spectacle of captivating choreography. This holiday classic was first performed in the winter of 1892 in Russia's famed Mariinsky Theater. The ballet, with its two-act structure, was crafted from a story written by E.T.A. Hoffman, and its libretto, or text, was adapted by Alexandre Dumas. The original production was choreographed by Marius Petipa and Lev Ivanov, two of the most renowned ballet masters of that time. Despite the initial mixed reviews, it's intriguing to consider how the Nutcracker went on to become a beloved tradition. The ballet's themes resonate deeply with audiences, and it's often viewed as a quintessential part of the winter holiday season. From the enchanting land of snow to the exotic realms of the land of sweets, this ballet takes its audience on a magical journey through the dreams of a young girl named Clara. The music of the Nutcracker is perhaps its most recognized element, with Tchaikovsky's score continuing to captivate listeners to this day. The composer's ability to paint vivid images in the minds of the audience through his music was truly remarkable. Tchaikovsky's compositions such as Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy and Waltz of the Flowers are celebrated globally, played in concert halls, ice rinks and living rooms alike. The Nutcracker has been performed by numerous ballet companies around the world, each offering their unique interpretations and aesthetics. Some have stayed true to the original choreography, while others have reimagined the ballet to fit their cultural context and creative vision. Despite its rocky start, the Nutcracker has since enchanted audiences around the globe. Its enduring popularity is a testament to the power of storytelling through dance and music, a reminder of the magic inherent in the world of ballet. Ever wondered about the tradition of kissing under the mistletoe? It's a question many of us have probably pondered during the holiday season. This cherished holiday custom, which seems so quintessentially Christmassy to many of us, can be traced back centuries and has a rich and intricate history. The tradition is steeped in mythology and folklore, with origins that extend far beyond its current Christmas associations. The mistletoe plant is significant in many cultures, but the tradition of kissing beneath it is most strongly associated with the Norse mythology. In Norse mythology, the plant was seen as a symbol of love and friendship, making it an appropriate setting for a shared kiss. The story goes that the god of love, Balder, was killed by a mistletoe arrow. His death was mourned by all the gods and goddesses, but it was his mother, the goddess Frigg, who revived him. In her joy, she declared the mistletoe to be a symbol of love and that she would bestow a kiss upon anyone who passed beneath it. Over time, this mythological association morphed into a more social tradition.
It was popularized in the Victorian era, where it became customary for a man to steal a kiss from a woman standing under the mistletoe. The tradition was that with each kiss, a berry was to be plucked from the plant until all the berries were gone. This charming tradition took root and spread throughout the British Isles and later to the New World, where it was embraced by American colonists and continued to evolve. In contemporary times, it's most often seen as a cute and harmless holiday tradition, a little bit of festive romance that adds to the overall holiday cheer. Still, the tradition has its rules. The most well-known, of course, is that it's considered bad luck to refuse a kiss underneath the mistletoe. This harks back to the plant's association with love and friendship in Norse mythology, reinforcing why this custom persists even today. So during the holiday season, if you ever find yourself under a sprig of this magical plant, remember its romantic roots and don't hesitate to partake in this timeless tradition. After all, as the saying goes, it's considered bad luck to refuse a kiss beneath it. Interestingly, Hanukkah and Christmas occasionally overlap on the calendar. Hanukkah lasts for eight nights, commemorating the miracle of the oil that lasted for eight days. In Iceland, Christmas is about more than just Santa's nice list. The Yule Lads, mischievous creatures who bring gifts or pranks to children, introduce a unique flavor to the holiday season. The shortest day and longest night of the year fall on December 21st, marking the winter solstice. Many cultures celebrate this day, heralding the return of longer days and the promise of spring. Christmas feasts are as diverse as the world itself. In Japan, a Christmas cake is customary, while in South Africa, a festive barbecue known as braai is the star of the show. The tradition of Christmas seals, decorative stickers placed on mail during the holiday season, began in Denmark in 1904 as a fundraising initiative to fight tuberculosis. This tradition later spread to other countries. Lastly, the longest Christmas list to Santa Claus included a staggering 75,954 items. Talk about aiming for a shopping spree. So there you have it, a treasure trove of festive facts to fill your holiday season with wonder and joy. Reflect on which one fascinated you the most. And until next time, keep on decoding those daily delights. Ever wondered where the tradition of decorating homes with Christmas lights began? This globally recognized tradition has an intriguing origin story that's worth exploring. It's a tale that takes us back centuries to a time when life was drastically different than it is today. The tradition was born in the heart of Europe, more precisely in Germany, during the 17th century. At that time, the tradition wasn't as we know it today. The idea of covering entire houses with twinkling lights was not even conceivable back then. Illumination during the dark winter months was a necessity rather than a decorative choice, and this was achieved using simple candles. The inhabitants of Germany during the 17th century were merely trying to bring a little warmth into their homes during the long, cold winter nights. Little did they know that they were actually starting a tradition that would evolve and grow over the centuries. Over time, the practice of lighting candles in December evolved. As technology advanced, so did the methods of achieving this illumination. The invention of electricity brought about a significant change. The simple candles were gradually replaced by electric lights, eventually leading to the vibrant and colorful Christmas lights we see today. This transformation wasn't instantaneous, but resulted from continuous changes and advancements in technology over centuries. Each generation added their own touch, making the tradition richer and more beautiful. Fast forward to today, and millions of lights now bedazzle neighborhoods across the globe during the holiday season. From simple candles in Germany to the mesmerizing light shows we see today, the practice of lighting up our homes during Christmas has indeed come a long way. Speaking of grand displays, the largest Christmas card ever made measured an enormous 4,653.7 square meters. Now imagine an area larger than a basketball court, filled with Christmas cheer. It was an indisputable sight to behold, a giant canvas of festive spirit and holiday happiness, stretching wider and taller than any Christmas tradition known to man. This mammoth card wasn't just about its size, but what it represented. The sheer magnitude of it was symbolic of the expansive warmth and joy that Christmas brings. Each square meter, painted with utmost dedication and love, stood as a testament to the festive spirit that has the power to unify nations and bring mankind together, 
transcending geographical boundaries and cultural differences. The enormous card was more than just a grand display. It was a piece of art that served as a dynamic reminder of the immeasurable joy and endless magic that Christmas encapsulates. And let's not forget, this massive display of Christmas spirit didn't occur just anywhere. It happened where the sun sets over the beautiful Atlantic Ocean, the land of explorers, Portugal. This colossal card was created in Portugal back in 2017, marking an unforgettable chapter in the grand book of Christmas traditions. A size so monumental it left the world in awe, and still remains etched vividly in the minds of those lucky enough to witness it. That's a lot of holiday cheer. From giant greeting cards to Santa Claus gatherings, the Guinness World Record for the most Santas in one place was set in 2014 in Ireland. This grand event has set a significant benchmark in the history of Guinness World Records. It was a merry sight to behold, a flamboyant spectacle of red and white, with a huge crowd of Santa Claus lookalikes in the heart of Ireland. Each participant was clad in the quintessential red suit and sported a fluffy white beard, a uniform that brought about an infectious wave of holiday cheer. Young and old, men and women, they all embodied the spirit of jolliness, laughter, and love that Santa Claus universally represents. It was a sight that warmed the heart and brought smiles to everyone present. The event was meticulously planned and executed. The process of gathering, dressing, and arranging the participants was an operation of immense scale. Imagine a sea of red clad each one enthusiastically playing his part, spreading the infectious holiday spirit. Amid the festive atmosphere, there was a palpable sense of unity and camaraderie. The sight of thousands of Santa Clauses gathered together was beyond what anyone could have imagined. It was surreal, yet heartwarming. The day ended, leaving behind memories full of joy and a record that was hard to surpass. This record-setting event not only provided cheerful memories but also served as a reminder of the magic of unity and the power of shared joy. A whopping 3,376 people donned the iconic red suit and white beard to spread joy and merriment. Journeying eastwards to the culturally rich land of Ukraine, an intriguing and unusual Christmas tradition comes alive each year. A tradition that is as different as it is beautiful. Here, amidst the chill of the winter winds and the joyous carols echoing through the snow-laden streets, Christmas trees aren't simply adorned with the usual baubles, lights, and tinsel. Instead, they hold an unexpected sight that is sure to surprise and delight. Sparkling webs spun by the dexterous hands of spiders. This peculiar and unique tradition finds its roots in an age-old Ukrainian legend. A tale that isn't just about Christmas, but is also a heartwarming testament to the magic of faith and the spirit of giving. A tale, they say, about a humble spider and a poor family that had nothing more than hopes and dreams. In the hushed silence of a frosty Christmas night, while the family slept, a little spider busied itself, spinning webs around the bare tree the family had managed to bring in. The spider's industrious work, unnoticed by all, was to transform the humble tree into something magical. By the time the first rays of the morning sun pierced the cold Ukrainian morning, something miraculous had happened. The spider's intricate web touched by the golden sun glittered and sparkled as if it was spun out of silver and gold. And just like that, overnight, the poor family's meager Christmas tree was transformed into a shimmering spectacle of silver and gold. Traveling eastwards to Ukraine, an unusual Christmas tradition unfolds. Here, Christmas trees are decorated with spider webs, inspired by a legend of a spider spinning its web and turning a poor family's tree into silver and gold overnight. Meanwhile, on Christmas Island, the holiday season is marked by the annual migration of red crabs. Set amidst the vastness of the Indian Ocean, this tiny island, draped in tropical beauty, becomes the stage for an extraordinary phenomenon that perfectly encapsulates the uncharted magic of nature. Every year, as the holiday season approaches, an incredible transformation takes place. The usually serene forests, teeming with a diverse array of vegetation and wildlife, become a bustling thoroughfare for millions of red crabs. The ground, once covered in a thick green carpet of leaves, is replaced by a vibrant red tapestry as these crabs embark on their epic journey. It is no ordinary journey. This is a migration driven by an age-old instinct untouched by the hands of time. Each crab, with its uniquely patterned shell, starts the journey from its burrow, 
drawn by the irresistible call of the ocean. They march forward, driven by an inexplicable force, their tiny bodies moving in unison, creating an extraordinary visual spectacle. Their path is fraught with dangers and challenges. Predators lurk in shadows, and the harsh elements of nature pose constant threats. Yet the crabs press on, their journey embodying the indomitable spirit of life. The forest resounds with the soft rustling of millions of tiny feet, a unique symphony composed by nature herself. As they finally reach the beach, the panorama is surreal. The serene blue of the ocean meets the pulsating red tide of crabs, creating an awe-inspiring tableau that leaves observers spellbound. This spectacle, a testament to the marvels of nature and the unyielding rhythm of life, is a sight to behold. Millions of these crustaceans journey from the forest to the ocean, creating a truly mesmerizing natural spectacle. But where did the first Christmas market originate? It was in Germany, during the late Middle Ages. Today, these festive markets have become a cherished tradition worldwide, offering holiday treats and handmade crafts. In Ghana, Christmas is celebrated with a special dish called fufu and light soup. This unique blend of local traditions and festive flavors makes the holiday season truly memorable. Thailand, in 2014, set a record of its own with the largest gathering of Santa's elves. An impressive 1,792 participants dressed in festive elf attire, spreading joy and merriment. Over in Brazil, Christmas falls during the summer. Many Brazilians celebrate with a beach day and a traditional feast, including rabanada, a Brazilian version of French toast. And finally, the oldest Christmas market is the Striezelmarkt in Dresden, Germany. This market, dating back to 1434, continues to enchant visitors with its rich history and festive offerings. And there you have it! 50 festive facts to light up your holiday season. From the origins of Christmas lights to record-breaking gatherings of Santas and elves, and from unique traditions in Ukraine, Ghana, and Brazil, to the spectacular red crab migration on Christmas Island, and the enduring allure of the world's oldest Christmas market. Remember to keep decoding those daily delights, and here's wishing you a joyous and merry holiday season.